Okay, good afternoon or good evening pala, sorry. Kasi kanina na-interview ko si uh, Richard Solano. It was a busy Tuesday indeed. Nagaling po tayo sa PSA Forum. And right now, we have company from Lake Placid, New York. Pero actually, nandito na sila sa Pilipinas. We have one of the four athletes sa lumaban. Sa ginanap na World University Winter Games na, na of course, organized ng Wea Pisu. Nagbabalik si Ms. Misha Pabian. Misha, good evening and welcome to the show once again. Good evening po. Thank you for having us tonight. But this time, eto, kasama naman niya ang kanyang head coach na si Juanan Kapili na kasama rin sa delegasyon niya patungo doon sa Lake Placid for the World University Winter Games ng PISU. One of the four representatives ng Pilipinas sa nasabing torneo. Coach Juanan, your initial uh, uh, words po tayo. Um... Good evening then. Uh, thank you for having both of us here and we're glad to uh, be able to talk to you about our experience from the University Games. All right. So thank you so much for accepting the invite na makasama ka namin dito sa Sports Corner PH. Uh, first of all, kahit alam natin busy yung schedule, kabusta na po kayo right after the, sabihin natin, former Winter University ad na napalitan na ng pangalan naging World University Winter Games. Uh, Misha, go ahead. Your, your thoughts um, uh, no, right after the meeting. Well, it was a really good experience, but right now, um, we're really just resting and trying to recover, especially like I hope I was telling Coach Ronan earlier that I'm experiencing jet lag. So I'm, um, I've just been really trying to readjust my body clock, trying to get back into working out and into my routine. You know, Okay, Coach Ronan, kamusta na po kayo right after the games? Uh, busy po agad kasi pagka-uwi ko po, uh, marami pong trabaho nag-aantay sa akin dito sa Pilipinas. So, diretso po kami sa training ng mga uh, skaters na nandito sa Manila. So, it's been, uh, how do you call this? We got back to Manila hitting the ground running. It's very busy. And even if it's just January, Marami kasing mga kids ang nagpe-prepare na po for the upcoming season. So, balik ulit talaga sa pag-training uh, agad-agad. So, apparently, si Ronan yung naunang umuwi. Then si Misha, naglani na muna ng ilang araw para magbakasyon at makapiling niya yung mga pamilya na uh, nandun sa North Carolina, di ba? Yes, po. All right. Si Misha, since it's already graduated na from Ateneo de Manila University, you're now representing yung, yung Milliam College. I think yun sa European Studies or International Studies ata yun, sa Masters. Uh, how's your study so far dun sa Milliam? Um, it's going well naman po so far. I already finished one year and I have, um, I think, a year or a year and a half to go before I graduate sa Masters ko. But yeah, I'm taking up um international studies and I'm trying to look deeper into um, the impact of gender on sports. Okay, well, si Coach Ronan, aside from Misha, tumutulong ka rin sa iba pa mga young skaters dati na sa kanilang mga age groups. Kaya nga, kagagaling lang siya sa training kanina. Lalo na may ilag sa mga produkto ninyo ay recently nananalo sila sa mga Asian level competitions for example sa Bangkok sa Indonesia may ilang produkto ka nang galing yung kinotch ninyo sa one of the branches ng SM Yes po tama po yun uh, tama po yung mga sinabi niyo po yung uh, that was December di ba and November yung mga skaters na inulmod mo di ba Yes po ayun so let's go back to Bisha Paano ka napili bilang isa sa mga delegado nga po the World Winter University Games? This is your comeback year kung may tuturing. Kasi yung uling salang mo, yung first uh, year mo was in 2019. And duman ng pandemic. And then, bumalik ka with a big bang after, sabi natin, four years o may tuturing na comeback ito. And I was your preparations there for the meeting kasi papalik-balik ka sa US to do the training itself. And of course, meron kayo mga natutunan na mga lessons or experiences niya from the training gap na ginamit mo for the games, Misha. 
Um, the selection process was entirely up to FESAP, and I'm grateful for that they chose me to represent um, for my final stand at the Universiad. And the preparation process po, was rigorous because, as you said, po, um, the pandemic happened and we didn't really have ice in Metro Manila until 2021 again. So um, I had to, uh, ah, 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I had to fly to the U.S. Um, late uh, 2021 to train. And then most of my training was done also um, at Mega Mall when it reopened again in 2022. And we tried to get um, a few more like training sessions in before the actual competition in North Carolina because we flew out in December 2023 para makapag, um, adjust and acclimatize because I don't <laughs> adjust fast to uh, jet lag and um, time zone differences. So we thought it would be wise to really go earlier para there's ample time for me to settle down. And now you physically and mentally prepared for this. You condition your both physical and mental before the games itself. Honestly, I would say that I was very physically prepared because I was able to run clean programs. The mental, I know, the mental game. That's a different story. That was um, I. I feel like that's something I could have prepared for better. And that's something that I think. One of my biggest learnings from this game is that it's really like the sport is very, very, very much mental. And that's something that I have to work on as I progress in my career as a big educator. Coach Rona, Nico naman, masasabi ba natin na naging maganda ba yung preparasyon ni siya para dito sa Winter World University Games? May mga adjustments ba ginawa to make the routine and executions na ipapolish natin para mas maganda pinakita niya ang performance going into the games itself? Um, we actually had good a good um, how do you call this? Um, a good time frame kasi the ice fortunately opened at the beginning of 2022. So we had the whole year to um, create um trainings, uh, a program, training program, training regimen, and then meron din siyang off-ice na coach yung parang uh, parang supplementary dun sa pag-training sa pag, uh, training niya sa ice. So she had a gym coach na si Coach Dale and it helped her to, to build her strength. Um, in terms of adjustments, we just wanted to make sure na she had um, almost all of the elements na kailangan niyang gamitin para sa program niya. And then the rest of the training, we had to do it in the U.S. na lang so that we could get uh, used to the cold. And the ice condition is a lot different kasi po sa U.S., uh, the resources and how they maintain the ice rink is a lot different than how they do the maintenance here in the Philippines. So she went earlier, like she mentioned, sa U.S. to get uh, adjusted to the ice condition, the climate, the time zone, everything else. So there was good. Uh, there was a good time frame, naman, to get everything done. Okay, Coach Ronan, sa monitoring yung kinisya sa pagassist yung lalo na sa training dito sa Pilipinas mismo. At ikaw din tungo tulong ka kahit alam natin na nagpapadala ka ng mga training programs kinisya. Nakikita niyo ba na? All is set, all is ready na siya na may bubugas siya pagdating ng competition, lalo na sa mga executions na uh, sinusunod niya ni Misha. Um, we did the best that we could kasi we understand that we are not at par with the top skaters of the world. And we knew that when we got to the World University Games that there would be skaters far better than us. So we both manage our expectations na yung may papakita namin is yung nasa within the limits ng kakayahan namin. Hindi kami masyadong naging ambitious. We just kept things uh, real. We just kept things uh, steady lang kasi syempre ayaw naman namin ma-injure si Misha na pag we, if we tried to get 
things to if we try to reach for uh, moves that are way beyond our capacity, we will probably come out you know injured and it wouldn't be a good experience. So we just kept it within our capacity lang our capabilities, basically just doing the best that we could with the resources that are you know the limited resources that we had, especially how Manila is or Philippines rather was the last one of the last ice rinks to open for the rest compared to the rest of the world na nagbukas sila as early as 2021 halos lahat ng mundo nagsiskate na kami hindi so managing uh, expectations lang kaming lahat sa team namin dito sa Philippines Speaking of competition Nisha kinakabahan ka na of course yung mga nakakalaban yung skaters dun sa Winter World University Games eh mas mataas pa yung level ng competitiveness at yung performance nila compared sa iyo. Yes, but it was definitely um intimidating to see a lot of um known skaters, a lot of the um Olympians, world champions skating on the same ice, but at the same time it was also really inspiring. So, um being able to skate with them and see them um serves as an inspiration for me now to keep working hard and doing better para eventually hopefully we can be at par and hopefully have a better showing at future competition okay at tama nga tayo <coughs> dahil of course sa design na yung ginamit na costume po the winter world university games may kilala mo ito sa pagiging pinoy natin something that we could proud of pati yung music na ginamit mo during the uh, performance eh, Pinoy inspired din what's the story about it Tamisha I really wanted to be able to showcase um the Philippines that was my goal for the short program syempre um on top of the goal of skating team I really wanted to be able to um be able to show like what Philippine culture is like, even if it's just through my costume and through my music. And I wanted to do it so short because as we've mentioned, Ghana, we really wanted to, um, our goal was to make it to the free, but in case that wasn't going to be able to happen, um, we wanted na from the get-go pa lang, it was, a, it was really a showcase of uh, Pinoy culture and of the Philippines as a nation that can produce winter sports athletes. And I think that's been my goal all throughout um, my entire stint sa mga university at saka university games is that I really want to be able to show people na it's possible for Filipinos to compete and excel in winter sports. By the way, meron pong tattoo sa likod si uh, Misha pero yung backstory about it is sa uh, previous interview no, natin nga, napanood nga. Uh, hindi na natin uh, ibibagit natin yung ilan sa mga uh, parts dito at tungkol sa inyong tattoo. Tell us more about the moments before and during the after awarding uh, the opening ceremony kung saan naging active ang participation natin lalo na sa Parade of Nations, Misha. Sorry, could, ano, kuya, nag-cut po siya. Pwede niyo po ba i-repeat yun? Yung sa no, opening ceremony, ano ba yung uh, memorable moments doon sa opening ceremony? kasama ang ilan sa mga delegates ng uh, national team. Well, for me po, it was um what the most memorable thing was uh, realizing that I wasn't um the only athlete anymore. Kasi yung teammate ko po si Ted Sunshine, he represents the Philippines in alpine skiing along with um Brandon Light, they're also an alpine skier and Julian Macar, a speed skater. Um, Brandon and Julian weren't able to make it to the opening, but Ted was the flag bearer. And it was really great to be able to see that our delegation was growing. That was, for me, what had the most impact for this game. Na seeing that um, being able to represent it the first time made a difference, was significant enough to be able to produce more athletes. And hopefully... For the next games to come, the delegation will just keep growing and growing and um, hopefully be as big as the summer game delegation. Si Coach Ronan, meron siya masasabi dito sa opening ceremony. Parang sabihin natin, mas malawak na yung participation natin no, dito sa Winter World University at 
Dahil, of course, meron tayong mga representatives pamahal pa skiing and short track speed skating. Ano masasabi dito ng mga ka? Dahil, of course, dumami na ang mga suwali dito sa uh, Pilipinas para dito sa winter meet. I would be just simply happy to have experienced the World University Games na may mga kasama kaming baguhang athletes. Simply happy yun lang kasi dati mag lang kami. Okay, let's go to the competition itself. Misha, ikaw muna. Masasabi ba natin maganda yung pinakita mong performance? But unfortunately, hindi kayo naabot dun sa short program doon sa final results ng like short program, yung top 8 na, na nag-finish doon sa competition ay yung nakakwalify nga doon sa finals. And apparently, you registered at the last place. Last of, of, out of all na mga participants dito sa Winter World University at James, uh, saklap nga lang. Yung thoughts nga pala ang performance doon sa Winter University at sabihin natin kahit mabigat ang competition, lalo na mga kalaban mo ay mas malakas kumpara sa inyo, pero you managed to succeed and you represented the country well. I would um I would definitely not consider my performance at the game my best skate. Um honestly, kinain ako ng kaba nun, Even though I was, I knew na I was very much physically prepared and we did our best. I let my nerves get the better of me. That's why I was saying kanina, it's a mental game and that's something that I'm going to work on moving forward so it won't happen again in future competitions. And you know, that's what I'm working on now. I've been working with, uh, I've been talking with Coach Ronan since the competition ended. Um, I've also been talking with my other coach, uh, Coach Christy, and she's been helping me um, get more aligned mentally when it comes to competing. Because it was really a different experience na despite how well I knew I prepared for it. Um, if I'm, if my head is not in the right place, then it's as if, you know, um, tying the preparation na I did physically. So it really has to work together, the mental and the physical aspects of things. Okay. Coach Ronan, sabi ni Misha kanina, Uh, isa sa mga factor kung bakit hindi siya hindi maganda yung kanya performance ay yung pressure o yung kaba kahit nakakapanginayang talaga yung resulta natin na manage naman ni Misha na i-represent ang bansa natin can we give us some notes about sa performance niya and uh, yung mga applause at yung positive notes niya uh, regarding nga dun sa kanya uh, performance at yung output niya um, I think um her just being present on the ice and in the entire games is already very notable. Uh, with regards to the flaws, that's something that's between just me and the skater. I don't think that's something that I would like to discuss with a lot of people because it doesn't seem to be a topic that should be out there publicly. Yung mga flaws na ganyan, yung mga kailangan na work on, sa team na lang namin yun gina, dinidiscuss. It's a practice na ginagawa ng mga coaches na kapag may mga kailangang ayusin, samin-samin na lang muna para hindi naman nakakahiya pa, na malaman yun ng lahat ng tao. But her presence alone, that she that she stood there, she delivered what she could, that's of that's something that we should all be uh, focusing on that's of good note talaga po. So more on positive talaga than negative niya. Ang, uh, of course, ang, uh, ang ari ninyo ni uh, Misha Uh, mag-focus lang dun sa mga positives and we could adjust more dun sa mga plus natin para pagdating sa susunod na competition talagang well prepared na at hindi na magiging kabahan nga si Misha. Something like that po. Kasi hindi po natin din minsan masasabi kung ano yung magiging uh, scenarios kapag nandun tayo sa competition. There may be things that we prepared for And then something else happens. Kasi we tried to, uh, locally, dito sa amin sa Pilipinas, na alam namin, gina, ang ginagawa namin, we're not sure how it is also in the other countries. Maybe we can learn something from them. But here, locally, what we do is we try to prepare for every possible scenario, but we cannot, syempre, count on just that. So 
there have been some scenarios na probably hindi namin na expect and i guess it happened so that's something uh, to consider for all of us not only just for Misha but all the other athletes to prepare for kasi marami talagang pupwedeng mangyari and learning experience na lang para sa aming lahat yun. And of course, napakalaging improvement niya talaga yung participation natin from a country na walang yellow, walang snow. We are in a tropical country na summer at uh, uh, tag-araw, tag-lamig yung ating season natin. Imagine, from 1 in 2019, ikaw yung nag-represent solo. Ngayon, meron tayong tatlo pang kalawag na kasama mo. Gaya na nabagot mo si Julian, si Brandon, at si Ted. Kaya nga may mga times na nagkaroon kayo ng bonding kayo sa isa't isa. At meron kayong interview na ginawa pa may uh, uh, media entity regarding sa experiences nila when it comes doon sa winter meet. Alam mo, sasabi mo doon sa bonding ninyo at friendship ninyo with the three other participants, Misha. Um, it was really great getting to know the other athletes and knowing how they train for the game. And all of us got close kasi... You know, we were bonded na we're all representing the Philippines. And you know, it, was really, it was just a really great experience to be able to get to know them. Okay. And your support system, lalo na si Sir Dodgy, yung uh, delegation at dati, nandito to guide you, to assist you dun sa uh, yung, uh, performance. And even yung mga relatives natin, nanonood dyan sa online and even dito sa mismong venue. Nakakapag-motivate talaga sa inyo yung makita yung support na binibigay ng family at yung friends mo dun sa performance mo. It was great to have a support system, especially like um, yun nga, Coach Ronan was there, my parents were there. And it really helped me um, pull it together for the short program. Okay, so pahinga muna kayo saglit after the games. Pero, of course, may mga nalalatag kayong roadmaps para paganda nyo yung mga susunod pa mga competitions. What's next for me, siya? And even for Coach Ronan, lalo na sa mga skaters nyo dun sa mga Asian competitions and other competitions kung saan invited ka. Uh, invited yung mga uh, young skaters na awak mo. Kaya natin si Misha, anong susunod para sa iyo? Um, for me po, uh, right now, I'm just focused on getting uh, better for in all aspects para sa uh, sport and um, I'm going to head back to training by next week. I'm just really trying to get over the jet lag and all. Um, we'll start training I think again on Monday but I've been going to the gym. I've been um, doing my journaling practices. So um that's what's next for me. Just really getting back into training again. Si Coach Rona naman, about dun sa mga skaters sa awak mo? Um, wala pa po kasing mga definite dates yung mga competitions na uh, sasalihan nila kasi most of the competitions are announced around four to three to four months before it actually happens. So since it's just January, wala pa kaming nare-receive na definite dates for the competitions but we are us- we are aware naman po of what are the usual competitions that happen within the year kumbaga um like for example in May nagkakaroon ng local competition ang summer skate which is by the by the group skate Philippines and that's around May so we are waiting for that uh, announcement we are also uh some of the skaters are also Gunning for Skate Japan, that's in June, so wala pa rin announcement. And um, we have the, our nationals, that's usually held at the end of the year. And a couple more of competitions that are all just waiting lang po yung announcement po. But yun nga, we have to keep con- uh, training continuously so that just in case may mga competitions na malapit ng mangyari pala, kunwari nag- uh, nagkaroon ng announcement uh, next week na magkakaroon ng competition in April or in May or in June, that gives us probably two to three months to really prepare. So dapat ngayon pa lang, ready na yung mga kids. And some of them though, they have um, plans on just concentrating on the Philippine Nationals, which is at the end of the year. 
So ngayon pa lang, nagsisimula na po silang mag-training uh, para mag-peak sila pagdating ng end of the year. So basically, it's all about following the goals that we've set nung simula nung taon. So mag enter na tayo sa February tomorrow. Most of the skaters have started executing the plans na nilatag ng mga coaches para sa kanila. And so the coaches just all work together. Some of the teammates po ni Lamisha are actually leaving for a competition next week. And then some of those will be will be just waiting for announcements for the upcoming competitions. Basically, ano lang yan, simula na talaga ng, ng uh, intense, comp- uh, intense training po. Kasi nga, hindi mo masabi kung uh, kailan talaga nila ipepeg yung mga competitions. Last question para kay Coach Ronan. Then yung last question naman para kay Misha. Since matapos na yung state ni Misha sa World Winter University at um, may mga tinitigdan ba kayo mga potential na ipapalit sa kanyang pwesto? Kasi ang susunod na edition ng uh, University Ad was in 2025 pa. Yes, um, I... Go ahead. Misha. Oh, no, it's okay. Go, Coach Ronan. Uh, we actually, FESAP has actually a list of skaters po na tinitingnan po nila. Kaya uh, siguro para sa akin is I would like to wait for FESAP to have their say because baka ma-preempt ko eh. Tapos yung pala iba palang skater padadala nila. Pero meron naman po kasi silang uh, list of figure skaters na kumbaga susunod sa yapak ni Nisha. And so we just need to uh, keep you guys in suspense, I guess. O, oh, hintay muna natin yung mismong desisyon ng PESAP. Kung sino yung uh, talagang ipapadala natin na maaaring ipalit kay Misha doon sa 2025 edition naman ng Winter Year World University Games. But I would like to ask the last question for Misha before we end. What is your experience sa maaaring mong ishares mo as you ended your stint sa Winter University at kahit nabigo tayo, 2019, ikaw yung naging flag bearer tapos ikaw lang yung nag-represent sa Pilipinas 2023 may mga kasama mo na sa delegation pero at least maganda pa rin yung performance mo dun sa competition since alam natin somewhat tapos na yung uh, collegiate years um i just i'm entirely grateful for the experience to have been able to do it twice is a really is a is such a good feat and um I'm really excited for the future athletes who will be able to experience it. It's really once in a lifetime. And I feel like it's something um, every athlete deserves to experience. And I can't wait to see the future for winter sports. Okay, so nagdaan na naman ang isang uh, magandang interview. Although, nabi tayo, we are definitely proud sa achievement niya ni Misha na na-represent two times itong uh, Uh, Pilipinas dito sa World Winter University at Games. Congratulations Misha and Ronan for a job well done. Alam natin medyo hindi natin maganda yung performance pero itong mga lessons na gagamitin ninyo ay maaaring igamit para mas improve o maging better skater naman pagdating naman sa mga upcoming competitions sa balag niyo sa Lian. So as we end up, magpotop muna tayo. Let's us do a thumbs up and smile. All right. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, as we end this interview, makapwede ninyong ingan ng inyong pasasalamat and uh, uh, shoutout sa lahat ng mga taga-support ng inyo. Coach Juan, ikaw muna. Um, I guess I just would like to thank FESAP and SM for always supporting um, the skaters. And FESAP, thank you for giving a um an opportunity for the skaters to have a uh, different experience aside from the ones that SM has been investing in in the past how many years because FESAP is very new to the game and we're just so happy that they just you know suddenly just popped up and said hey you want to join us and they gave such a great uh, opportunity for all of our skaters because most of the competitions kasi go to the younger child uh, younger skaters so parang it's it's a nice thing to have um college aged skaters a competition that's intense at the same time you know nagkaroon sila ng parang sarili nilang chance to show their 
talents. So thank you to that. Okay. And finally, Nisha, it's been a grateful journey nga magdating nga dito sa Winter World University Games. One chapter has done. Um, maybe you have some spare time para magpasalamat at magbigay ng uh, tribute sa lahat ng mga uh, sa, ng mga nag-alay uh, ng kanilang tulong sa inyong campaign. It's your turn, Nisha. Um, I just want to say thank you first and foremost kay Kasap for the opportunity, um, Sir Graham, Professor Kahlo, Ma'am Seth. Thank you for um, continuing to support and um, our athletes. Uh, I want to say thank you to my parents for always um, being supportive and for their love throughout the entire thing. Um, to my friends, family, loved ones, to Coach Ronan, to Coach Dale, to Coach Chrissy, to Coach Michael for being such an excellent support system as well. Um, I've learned a lot. I've experienced a lot that I feel I will take um, for the rest of my life and improve on my career as a skater. So thank you, everybody. Okay. Again, Coach Ronan and Misha. By the way, uh, uh, iwasan na muna. Eh. Sana matanggal na yung jet lag para bag- makabalik nga doon sa competition. Eh. Mas lalo muna ang pagandaan yung inyong may papakita performance. And thank you nga pala sa for doing this interview. Misha, can we do it another one in the next uh, competition kung pwede? Sige po. Game po. Message All right. Po. Again, Coach Ronan and Misha, thank you so much for sharing your experience. So Winter World University Games, thank you rin sa dad mo ha, para sa opportunity and looking forward for a more better and more improving Misha. Even dun sa mga skaters na inawakan ni Coach Ronan na uh, naglumalaban sa mga international competitions in the coming days. At yung growth natin, mas lalo pang mabalawak sa winter sports at yung interest natin doon for both local and foreign place na mga athletes na mailig sa winter sports. Again, Coach Juana and Misha, thank you so much. Have a great day and good night po. Bye-bye. Good night po. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Juana.